So a very pleasant change of scenery from the rest of the week. Behind us, we have the finalists for our best performance car. Yep, we are here at Horse Thief Mile at Willow Springs with our two finalists, the 2021 BMW M3 competition and the new Mark 8 Volkswagen Golf GTI. We've driven a lot of performance cars this year. That said, these two are among our highest scoring vehicles. Yeah, and we've looked at these cars in a lot of different ways. We've driven them on the track, we've driven them on canyon roads, we've looked at their straight line performance, their agility, their drivability, how engaging they are for the driver. Even we've looked at their seats and their steering wheels and all the things that go into making a great performance car. So it's definitely worth saying that we've taken a very holistic approach in evaluating. It's been tough this week, we've been deliberating yeah. back and forth, narrowed it down to these two. And even between these two, we have two great vehicles. Yeah, there's there's been a regular fight between the editors over who gets what set of keys to drive to the track or to the canyons. And it's safe to say that we're really in love with both of these cars. Well, let's take a closer look at our finalists. So first up is the car with the most controversial face on sale today. Besides mine. <laughs> the BMW M3 competition in a very, what do you think about the shade of yellow? Sao Paulo yellow is what it's called. I, it's grown on me throughout the week. It is in your face. It is the perfect color for an M car. I was driving up here and I could literally see the thing from the road a mile away. It is that eye catching. We're evaluating them as performance vehicles. So looks is what, a small portion of that? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is what the car says about you as the driver. Yeah. And with this, it is clearly saying I enjoy a sporty drive. There is there is no question about that from the color to the huge nostrils to the massive wheels. Everything about this car is screaming to the public that you are a driving enthusiast. Yeah, you're 100% right. And I think it's fair to say from last gen to this gen M3, BMW did a lot of work on the interior to make it more driver focused too. Yeah, this interior, it has what I think are the best performance seats on the market right now. Yeah, they are, crazy, full car they are a $3,800 option, but man, they just grip you like a pair of racing seats. They are carbon fiber back. They have a little leg separator thing. Mm -hmm. They are pre-set up for harnesses. They are a great set of seats. And when you slide in there, it immediately puts you in the mind for driving. We also got a car that is pretty much maximum attack for the racetrack. Talk about some of the bits on it. So this is the competition package and it has carbon ceramic brakes. You can get those on both the regular and on this version. That's right and they offer fade-free shotgun-like stopping power. I mean, these things will stop the car on a dime. This is a 3,800-pound car. It can get to 60 in 3.8 seconds, and it feels like it can get down from 60 in a lot faster than that. In competition spec, it's 503 horsepower? 503 right? horsepower, That's yep. a ton. We're put in an it's M3 now, no longer an M5 yeah. with 500 horsepower. Um, this one is equipped with the automatic, not the manual. Yeah, you can only get the a competition car with the eight-speed automatic. And yes, the purists are gonna be a little bit disappointed about that, but it's a great transmission. It's not quite as snappy as last year's DCT, but you still get really sharp shifts and yeah. really intelligent behavior just around town too. So around the track today, as we're rolling all sorts of fast footage of this car that we have, tell us what we've been experiencing from behind the wheel, the editorials. Well, I mean, so the number one point of contention among the, the editors is the steering. Mm -hmm. It is It is extremely, extremely fast. It's fair to question if a road car needs steering that is this direct and this immediate but I like it because it's coupled with the suspension that gives the car almost like Jedi-like reflexes. It is immediate turn-in, it is immediate responsiveness, and it is a lot of fun, and it rewards good driving. It rewards smooth inputs. You cannot grab this car by the scruff of the neck and throw it around. You really have to think about it and measure your behavior. I think we'll talk about tires again in a bit, but the tires <laughs> on this car, the Michelins, have worked great all day. They're a fantastic pairing to yeah, this car. These are Pilot Sport 4S. Uh, I do wish there was a little something a little bit more dynamic in this car because it does kind of squirm when you get on the power. There right. is going to be an all-wheel drive model coming out in the very near future that should kind of solve that issue. Yeah. But in terms of ult ultimate cornering grip, these are quite good and they provide a lot of feedback through the steering, which is good because the steering itself doesn't have a ton of feedback. We were very excited when this car came out to see what BMW did with it. And I say, safe to say, looks aside, because we mm, can stand here all day long yeah. and talk about that, the drivability of this car is phenomenal. It's, it's honestly, you know, this was one of our toughest categories mm -hmm. and this car made it that much more difficult. Let's check out its competitor. Let's do it. So now a car that's been on sale for a few years in Europe and is finally getting over to the shores for us to play with, the Mark 8 Volkswagen GTI. Yeah, that boat ride really takes a minute. It takes a <laughs> long time. I've been jealous for a couple years. Faster, faster boats. So the European journalists have been all over this thing telling us all about it. Now it is finally our turn to get behind the wheel. 
We've been all over it all week. Yeah, uh, this is the Mark 8 GTI. It is the latest version of an Icon, 241 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque, right. a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission in this model, and it is the iconic hot hatchback. So speaking of Europe to the US, this is a Euro-spec car. There are gonna be a few small differences between that and the US, but there's a bigger difference on this car which you can tell us about. Yeah, so uh, we have a set of Ringer tires on this car. Yeah. This, this car is wearing, uh, not from the factory, Bridgestone RE7, R's. They are a max performance summer tire. Now, when the car arrives in the US, mm -hmm. it will be available with the same Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires that are on the M3. So normally we would have considered penalizing the car for having not factory rubber, but in terms of ultimate performance, they're relatively similar. It's not a huge gulf between the Bridgestones and the Michelins that will eventually be on there. This is the first time that Volkswagen is doing a very aggressive tire package in the US. So that is worth being excited about. That's really, yeah, it really is. And it makes the, even a factory GTI, mm -hmm. a much more capable performance machine. There's really no greater improvement you can make to a car than a good set of tires. So the fact that Volkswagen is doing this from the factory is really encouraging for American enthusiasts. Around the track and around the canyon roads we've been on, what have you mostly been experiencing with this? Well, I mean, the great thing about the Mark 8 is the same thing that's been great about the Golf all along, is that it's just such super accessible performance. Yeah. You can really hop into this car and just go, and it will build up to your level, and it will accommodate whatever experience you have. And that's kind of a rare thing. The, the BMW very much rewards already capable drivers. This will encourage you along the way and it will absorb your mistakes. The ergonomics might be somewhat questionable. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Uh, so, so there's some- How really, many times have we had hot hands today? Yeah, there's some really questionable decisions with the main driver interfaces. Yeah. The steering wheel, like all Volkswagens going forward and for reasons we can't quite comprehend yeah. is going to touch controls. And in the case of this, if you hold the wheel at nine and th or uh, nine and three, like you're supposed to, mm -hmm. and you're driving dynamically, your palm of or your- Your hand. Your hand will bump the heated steering wheel thing. And that's really infuriating when it's 90 degrees and sunny. And, and you're it trying wasn't to a one-off thing. Every person that got in this car today accidentally hit the heated steering wheel. And then you go to figure out the climate controls and there's seven buttons you have to hit on the end. Exactly. Yeah, the, it's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a nightmare. And you know, as good as Volkswagen's new infotainment system and touch controls look, they're really kind of a pain in the butt to use. Yeah, but back to on-road and on-track dynamics, this car has thoroughly impressed us. It's incredibly impressive for a front-wheel drive hot hatch like this to perform the way it does, to respond so well to mid-corner corrections, yeah. to be so willing to rotate. It makes it a really exciting car on track. And like I said, it's something that you as a novice can get in and mm -hmm. it will grow with you. A lot of deliberation, hard choice, but now we have to pick a winner. That we do. And here we have Motor One's best performance car of 2021. The GTI. The GTI, the Golf GTI. We were back and forth quite a bit, but ultimately I think this car is get in, easy to access performance was just a bit better. And it is telling that a car that's double the price, double the horsepower didn't wow us that much more than this little hot hatch. Yeah, it really is telling. And it, it, it comes down to that accessibility and the ultra reasonable price tag. Mm -hmm. And the fact that this is a car that creates the driving enthusiasts that buy that one day. Yeah, 100%. And for those wondering, we'll drive the Golf R variant next year. It'll be in consideration for next year's car. That's right. You will see this car's big brother in Motor One Star Wars 2022. There you go. But for now, the Volkswagen GTI, our best performance car.